I really enjoy the need for speed. It's such a shame because go-karting was honestly on my bucket list. I really wanted to do it. And I'm just not feeling good at all. Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today something super duper exciting is happening and I am getting to check something off my bucket list. So stay tuned. Something that has been on my bucket list for a really long time is going go-karting. I have always kind of wanted to be like a race car driver. I really enjoy the need for speed and I'm a bit anxious about it because <laughs> the height limit for the place that we're going to is 152 and I'm pretty sure I'm only 150 centimeters tall. So hopefully they won't say anything about it and they'll just assume because I'm an adult that everything will be alright. But because it was a really last minute thing, we are quickly stopping in for breakfast. It's not going to be the healthiest of breakfast, but there's something on the go and we'll go go cutting after that. We're here now and I'm super excited. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. You've been Good here closer. before, haven't you? I have twice. Yeah. yeah. So now it's my turn. <laughs> so let's do this. Just needs to be tucked up inside. Yeah. After that, find a helmet that'll fit you. Your neck braces are optional if you're over 18, which I'm guessing you both are. Yeah. 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 So whether or not you want to wear them, it's up to you. But mainly, just hand it, helmet. Yeah. When you're ready, this side of the fence here at the entry sign, just down there. You can push them okay. Yeah. It can be adjusted a bit more if you want. Just a bit closer. Yeah, or maybe just a little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll do. Hey, yeah, that'll work. Good job. Okay. Oh. Awesome. And finally, at the end of your session, as you come down this main street here, we'll point to you, just give you that signal. Just move one more lap left, okay? One more lap around once again in between those white and red tyres down there, nice and slowly there for us. Yeah. I recommend just take that first lap, pull the tires up, you're on the sleeves, you don't have much room to start, okay? Yeah. Any questions? No. Awesome, hold your right foot down and we'll get you going. Right foot. Right foot. <laughs> yep. didn't slide out, my love. Me, <laughs> I won. I am 
feeling so incredibly sick right now. It's such a shame because go-karting was honestly on my bucket list. I really wanted to do it. And I'm just not feeling good at all. So Mick stopped in and he's going to get me some mints from the petrol station. But I'm feeling severe motion sickness. So I'll catch up when I'm feeling better. <laughs> We are back home now and I am feeling a thousand percent better. I don't know why I was so affected by like the motion sickness of going go-karting. The first round was so much fun. So we bought two 15 minute sessions. The first one we hopped in and it was so amazing, such a great experience. There was just myself and Michael and then maybe like three quarters of the way through the session and another driver joined us and having multiple go-karts on the track was so cool like i don't know about you guys but playing the video game mario kart it just it was literally it coming to life which is the reason why this was on my bucket list about halfway through my session like the first time around i definitely felt my neck getting really sore and a bit queasy so after that session we sat down and i asked michael some things about like how he was doing so well because i always like reflecting on how i can do things you know better and more efficient and mick was saying because there was like kind of an s corner that you had to hug both corners and then that way you could get super fast i asked him because i was going around a corner and i'd like break and then i'd accelerate and mix it kind of like come into the corner and then when you get a certain way around then like accelerate from there. So the second time around I got to try these things out which was so much fun and the second time around I also wore, they offered like a neck collar because I had Ryan like a couple weeks back I really want to make sure that that's all getting protected because I don't want to wake up tomorrow with the right neck again. Second time for our 15 minute go and there was, I'm just thinking two five of us and one of the guys I swear was like go-karting like champion because he had the boots the gloves the helmet like the whole kit in caboodle it was crazy and I was definitely more confident we did a great race I got to overtake some people I nearly spun out oh talking about spin outs Mick spun out on the first round it was hilarious he was trying to overtake me and he just accelerated a little too fast but these memories are so good to have and I just love them so much but yeah, definitely after the second round, I was starting to feel super crazy and like you saw in the clip, I was not in good shape. So when we came home, I had a shower, I took like Travel Calm, which is motion sickness medication, and Mick and I had an hour and a half sleep, which if you are a parent, having an hour and a half of uninterrupted sleep is golden. <laughs> so I am definitely feeling a lot better. It was such a great date morning. And I'm looking forward to seeing the kitties. So if you've liked experiencing this bucket list adventure with me, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below telling me what's on your bucket list or any bucket list things I should try out because I'm keen to try new experiences and vlog them for you guys. But I really hope you did enjoy this video and stay tuned till next week.